With the stable Flutter version 2.0, Flutter supports null safety. And this means that you don't need to care anymore about any null exceptions which could occur because the Flutter tooling automatically checks null safety. And therefore we want to learn how to migrate existing Flutter projects automatically so that they support null safety, which makes development also more reliable and secure for you as a developer. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by migrating an existing Flutter project and therefore I take here the to-do app which I have developed in previous tutorials. And therefore we will follow three simple steps to migrate our project. First of all, we check if the project is migratable because not every project you can migrate at this time. Secondly, we need to update our dependencies and thirdly, we can automatically migrate our code. Before we start with the migration, we want to do two other steps. So first of all, make sure that you upgrade your Flutter system and then make sure that you have here at least the Flutter version 2.0. And secondly, make sure that you have a backup of your current Flutter project. Therefore, I added here to the Git system. And secondly, I also commit the project so that we always can later go back as a backup if something goes wrong. With these preconditions fulfilled, we can start by checking if our project is migratable. And therefore, we go first of all to the location of our Flutter project. So I'm here within the root folder of this Flutter project within my console. And now we want to check if our Flutter project is migratable. Therefore you write here this command. And then we need to go to the resolvable column. And here you need to make sure that each of these dependencies has here a check. Otherwise, if not all of the dependencies have here a check, then you cannot migrate to null safety yet. In my case, we can migrate to null safety because every dependency which I rely on for the to-do app is supporting null safety. Now that we know that we can migrate our project, we go to the pubspec jaml file within our Flutter project. And then we go back to the terminal and we copy here all the dependency version of each dependency. And here I will put it right now to the Cloud Firestore and here I put then the new dependency inside. And we do this with all the other ones. So for example, I also take this one, Flutter Slidable, and then I also put this dependency version here inside. After that, you have updated all the dependencies within your pubspec jaml file, we need to run pubget. Or you can also go to your IDE and here you run get packages. And with this, we have finished the second step and we also need to do the last step to migrate our code automatically. But before this, you need to make sure that you have the right Dart version. So make sure that you have at least the Dart version 2.12. If you don't have at least the start version, then you need to go to dart dev slash get dart. And then you can scroll here to the installing the dart SDK section and then you choose here your operating system. So in my case, Mac. And then you need to find here this command for upgrading your dart. And then you copy here your command for your operating system and go back to your terminal or command line. And then you paste it here inside. And after this, make sure that he has at least the Dart version 2.12 installed. And with this precondition, we can run the command Dart migrate, which will then do the last step to migrate our code base automatically to null safety. And after Dart has analyzed the project, you also see here this URL, which you need to copy. And then you can paste this URL inside of your Chrome browser, for example. And this leads then to this interactive UI where you can guide the migration process. On the left side, you see here all the files and you can mark the files which should be converted to NAS safety. So if you deselect here, for example, this folder, then this is not converted to NAS safety. In my case, I want to have here everything selected. And after this, you can go here through all these files and you can see what will be changed. And this is every time here within this blue color, which will be added. And if something is removed, then it is here in the red color. And we want to go, for example, to this to do dart. And here you see that he has added here this question mark. He has removed here this at symbol. And here at the bottom, he has the question mark and an exclamation mark. Before we go here more closely into this file, I also want to show you quickly what the differences between all these question mark and exclamation marks are. The question mark is used to mark a type as a nullable type. And this means in this case, the daytime object can be null or it can be of a type of daytime. 
if we would have here a field which has no question mark after the type, so this type is without any other exclamation mark or whatever, then this means that we have a non-nullable type. So this daytime can only be non-null, which means you can only put a daytime object inside and not a null instance. And lastly, we could use the exclamation mark to force a nullable type to a not nullable type. So this is always what you can put here inside if you know that the JSON, for example, is not null. And if you know that it is not null, then you can force it to a not nullable value. And now that we have learned about the differences, we can also apply them here inside. So let's say here we have five fields and you see two of them are required. And therefore these both are not nullable. However, the tooling tries to give us here a nullable value for the created time and the title. And I also can click here on the title and I also can add here this exclamation mark hint. And now both of these fields cannot have a nullable value anymore. However, this is fine because we have here this required statement. Therefore, we require that this has a real value. Within our to-do, you also see that we have, for example, this description and also this is done field. And by default, we have supplied here some values. And therefore, we also want to make sure that these values are not nullable. Therefore, I click here simply on this question mark and then we say here that we add an exclamation mark hint and we also click here on the second question mark and also add here this exclamation mark hint inside. After this, you can also click on this rerun with changes button and now you see that the nullable field is disappeared and we have here a not nullable value. And lastly, we also want to go to this JSON field. And in our case, we know every time exactly that this can never be null. And therefore, I also make it here to a not nullable value. After this, you can rerun the changes and then also this exclamation mark is not needed anymore. And now you see after I have rerun the changes, the exclamation mark disappeared because it is not needed here at this location anymore. Let's also look here at another example. So I go here to the edit to do page and here inside you see that these are both nullable values. However, this cannot be totally true because within the init state, we put here a value for the title inside and we also put a value for the description inside. And with this, we know that the title and description always have a value which is not null. And therefore, we also have in null safety a keyword which is called late, which means that we mark a variable as late initialization. And this is typically used with an, an init state method where something is later initialized, like in this case. And therefore, we want to make both of these fields as a late type. You cannot do this here directly within this IDE because you don't have here a third button for late. However, you can always go to your code and then you can go here within your code to the place which we were inside before where we have here these two fields. And here inside you can paste this comment late inside before this type. And then you save this file and go back to the browser and then you rerun from your sources. And then you should see that he has integrated the late type for us. And with this, we have here a late initialization for the values title and description. And after you are done with all the changes within this tool, you click here on apply migration and then you click on OK. And after this, you will update here the source code and you see also that he has put this late field for us inside. And this means that we have here a not nullable type instead of a nullable type, what he suggested us before with this question mark. And with this, we have migrated our whole project to null safety. And sometimes there could be some errors occurring within your project, which you also need to fix then. However, in this case, everything seems to work and we have successfully migrated graded to NAS safety. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!